first year we had no idea what it was going to be like. And then it turned out to be crazy. And then second year we dealt with a hurricane. Third year we did it here and we came back and it was phenomenal. And then today, the fourth year, it's even better than last year. So it's the con that keeps on giving. I don't know if it's the movies, I don't know if it's Avengers, I don't know if it's the mass market acceptance of all things geeky with Big Bang Theory and The Walking Dead, but whatever's fueling the fire, I mean, it's always been there, but now something's blowing on the flames and it's an inferno. And hey, more power to it, because we'll get more people coming, so bring it on, man. My role in Comic-Con is one of the fantastic four folks that thought of this idea and keep it coming back year after year. We have the greatest volunteers in the world, the greatest staff in the world. You couldn't get a better crew. This is the fantastic four of Comic-Con, the Avengers of Comic-Con, the Justice League of Comic-Con. They're the best, they're number one. And I've taken over the marketing, the promotion, the organization part of it. So everything that you see here, if you've heard about the show, that was me and my crazy marketing PR stuff. It's great to take all those evil powers and put them to something you like. And that's why I love doing this stuff. As long as people keep showing up, as long as we keep having a great time, we'll just keep doing this again and again until this sucker finally runs out of air. Coming again next year, it'll be bigger and better than it was this year. Maybe two days, maybe a bigger venue. I don't know how many more hours we could do, 24 hour day Comic Con, I don't know, you know, Marathon Con. That's not a bad idea.